Welcome to Fouts Boxing Theory, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how David Benavides was able to beat the crap out of Demetrius Andre, just like I predicted. Uh, this was kind of a mismatch kind of fighter, and we see right as the opening the opening sequence here as David Benavides gets on the line, gives him kind of a 1-1-2 feint here, but we can see the kind of position that Demetrius Andrade is in. His right hand is not up. He's not able to block punches here and guard himself on the side of the line, but he's not really using his hands to control space, to block, or uh, to really interact with David. And this is the first sequence of the first round, okay? Um, some very important stuff. Now, Demetrius Andrade uh, winds up again being in that same position, and David Benavidez immediately starts attacking the body, lands a really good shot, and pushes pushes him off the line, okay? Almost knocks him down. Obviously, uh, Andre is going to get his get back, throws his little shot like this. Um, and as the round comes and continues on, Demetrius Andre winds up being less and less able to control space, right? Trying to look a to use a little bit of lead hand control, controlling David Benavidez's hand. However, David Benavides was the one attacking off the lead hand control. So in spite of the fact that uh, Demetrius Andre had better control of the line, he was getting there faster, he was not able to be the one to follow up and actually make an attack. Uh, Demetrius Andre doesn't usually attack in those positions. Um, he usually will just explode, which we'll see later. But here we see David Benavidez working around Demetrius Andre's jab, has his block up when he makes it to the front foot, crosses the line, pushing forward, and Demetrius Andre just controlling in that bladed stance, not able to really control or keep him from crossing the line. David Benavidez able to use that head movement to kind of cross the line and sneak this right hand, right hand to the body of Demetrius Andre. Now, this was a very, very, very common type of offense for him. And again, David Benavides was able to throw these shots a lot of times without really having to worry about return fire um, because the positioning that uh, David that Andre would be in when punches would be thrown at him would be so poor. Now, he did immediately uh, try to get his get back, go to a body shot. He saw this kind of open up after he fainted a counter on David Benavides. And then he kind of went for another one, another quick one-two, went to the body, Benavides trying to block to the head. And that kind of sums up in the first round almost all of Demetrius Andrade's offense. He didn't really land any jabs. He didn't really score very well. Uh, and we see a lot of um, David Benavides getting able to the front foot and giving a lot of feints, giving David Benavides or uh, Demetrius Andrade a lot of looks, okay? Feinting him here. Now, check this out. When Demetrius Andrade makes his way to the front foot here, David Benavides throws the jab here to attack him, and he starts penduluming him and attacking. This is another one of those little timings that he started to get better and better at was landing the jab, okay? Um, and it always came when Andre would go from the back front, back foot to the front foot here and bring his weight forward and get attacked. Now, that timing is going to be very, very, very important for the rest of the, the film. But again, David Benavides was able to cut so much of the ring off by pushing him to the back half of his line and then also being able to pendulum in and score uh, with the, off of that technique. Okay, now, David Benavides, again, the lead hand control, because of the fact that Andrade doesn't really faint or probe or control that much, he's just using this lead hand, David Benavides is able to work around it and land a big overhand right here. Um, Andrade tries to land and throw his own right after it in that sequence. Um, uh, but he doesn't land a hard shot. He doesn't really score, um, and it didn't really hurt him. But we can see over and over and over again this kind of attack, mostly being okay for David Benavides to throw. In fact, David Benavides not really having to pay for a lot of the opportunities that he takes stabbing at the line. Now, a little bit of control here, right? David Benavides trying to get him to the front foot, right? So watch David Benavides' weight. He goes back and he goes forward, and watch the the pulling of Demetrius Andrade, and now he goes up, and now he goes forward, and he goes down, and he goes back, and here comes the shot, and he goes down, pull counter, boom, boom. Demetrius Andrade was pretty explosive, right? And this is kind of a landed shot. I think this might be the last shot he lands in the in the first round. Very explosive, um, but often didn't take the time to set stuff up like this, um, and wound up not being nearly as successful as the fight went on. Now. A little bit of control, fighting off the lead hand when David Benavides gets to the front foot, stabbing the jab to the body. But notice he didn't really throw the rear hand there. Now, playing the lead hand game, 
David Benavides goes with a, a lead hand, goes with a jab after touching, now getting to this position, and throwing a rear hand here. Okay, again, another one of those moves that Demetrius Andrade really didn't utilize to control space and to make it more difficult to pick what he's doing, right? Now, again, Demetrius Andrade looking to explode off of the timing, right, getting to the front foot. As he brings his weight forward, pull down, comes in with this shot. Again, trying to make an adjustment around the control that David Benavides is putting on the line with his jab. But again, very explosive, right? Nothing wrong with being explosive, but one of the problems that Demetrius Andrade has, and one that I talked about, is that everything he does takes so much energy. Here David Benavides is, is walking on the line, shooting that jab. Look at the big reaction from Demetrius Andrade. Now, comes back to the line, pushes David Benavides off the line, right? David Benavides remembers being countered, so trying to make adjustments of, himself, of his own. And then David Benavides, again, controlling space with the rear hand here, controlling space with the lead hand here. And again, all of that when Benavides brings his weight to the front foot. Here he is on the front foot. Here comes David Benavides' weight. Here he comes to the front foot. Here comes David Benavides with his weight. Again, always making sure to be uh, doing everything he does kind of in relation to his target. Okay. Now, again, putting a lot of pressure on Demetrius Andrade, and again, getting to the front foot, pushing him around, and getting to the front foot here, throwing that rear hand, landing an excellent shot, um, and he was able to kind of chase, boom, Demetrius Andrade around with shots like that all night. Again, landing multiple straight right hands in a row, sequence to sequence, um, and again, Demetrius Andrade doesn't really have any head movement. All he can control the line is, is with that lead hand, right? Or exploding and throwing big, big, big combinations like this, right? Now, this is a lot of energy. That was a lot of punches right there, okay? And he landed hardly any, right? That's a lot of energy. That was right at the end of the first round, um, you know, and it, it was a pretty, actually, a pretty good round for David Benavides, getting to the line, landing jabs, landing a lot of rear hand probes, um, that actually might have been at the end of the second round. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was at the end of the round. Now, again, David Benavidez coming forward, and as soon as Andrade gets his way to the front foot, boom, snapping his head back, right? Getting him to the front foot, following him back with this shot here, catching him again with a rear hand. David, and then with Demetrius Andrade, again, trying to follow up, trying to catch him. Again, getting to the front foot and getting a, basically a free punch, right? Again, look at the guard that. Demetrius Andrade has. His defense is terrible. You know, and again, people on the pre-fight tried to tell me, oh, his defense is good. Oh, he's good. Move. Oh, this. But he's not guarding punches. And he's not fast enough to interact with David. David just gets to the front foot. Boom. Hit him again. Every time he gets to the front foot, putting so much pressure on Demetrius Andrade, he has to run. He has to move. Again, getting off the line. Look at this terrible defense. Again, pivoting on the front foot. If you're a coach and you teach this, pivoting on the front foot here, especially southpaw, this is so bad. You know, so bad. Okay, but getting kind of beat up right there. And again, every time David Benavides gets his weight to the front foot, becoming a problem for Demetrius Andrade. Andrade trying to control space there with the jab, trying to control space, and now getting countered here, trying to come in with that one-two timing where he would steal the shot to the body. But David Benavidez showing, ooh, he's ready for the jab here. Okay, and then the next time he gets to the line with the jab, catch, counter. Excellent shot. Again, completely dominating Demetrius Andrade on the line in almost every sequence, getting to the front foot, controlling him, and again, not really allowing Andre to get to the front foot, not allowing him to be on the, have his weight forward. A little bit of counter there. Exploding into this. Again, a little bit of counters from Demetrius Andre. Sometimes he would explode. Again, not really landing any punches, not getting any value. Even though he put all that energy onto the line, he didn't really get anything done with it. And Demetrius, er, uh, here we have uh, Benavidez again coming forward and allowed to basically just throw huge punches at the line almost any time he wants. Boom, getting to the front foot, landing a free jab, getting to the front foot, landing a free right hand, getting to the front foot, and then Andre ducking into an uppercut, 
you know, multiple sequences in a row in which David Benavides is able to get to the front foot and just throw huge punches. Now, this is at the end of another round where Demetrius Andrade says, man, I didn't do enough and tries to steal it by flurrying, right? Just trying to be boom, boom, boom fast. And again, that's the most that he can do. You know, he's not really a great boxer. He doesn't have great head movement. He throws power punches. He has a lot of potential. There's a lot of stuff that Demetrius Andre could, you know, could do because he's so strong and athletic and has so much experience, but his technique is just not good enough. Now, in the fifth round, this was basically just, um, or the fourth round, just chasing um, um, Demetrius Andre around. Andre didn't really want to engage. Uh, he was getting hit when he would get to the front foot almost every time. And again, here he is. He's going to duck and he's going to try to roll on the front foot. And he tries to roll and pivot on the front foot here. Boom, and eats a body shot, right? That move is not free, guys. Boom, eating a shot. Here he is. He's going to try to pivot around the front foot. Here he is, again, getting smacked with the left hook. Now, again, getting to the front foot. And Benavidez is just annihilating him with these shots. Again, his defense is so bad. Another one, boom, free shot. Catches him with the hook, trying to pivot on the front foot. Again, that's a move that if Tank Davis would have done in front of Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia probably would have knocked him out. Again, Benavidez getting great control, great probes. Andrade trying to find a way to circle and get away. Pivots on the front foot. Boom. Eats a huge body shot. Right? Just trying to get away. Just trying to pivot on the front foot. And again, most of the round was like this. Trying to chase him. Pivot on the front foot. Again, smack him. And again, look at how much he's throwing his weight at the line with impunity. Right? Andrade is blocking this shot at least now. Right? But where's the counters? Okay. All right, again, chasing him around, and most of it looks the same as the rest of the rounds, where he's chasing him around, gets to the front foot, hits him with ones and twos, and now again, pivoting on the front foot, catches him with an uppercut. Here he goes, pivoting on the front foot, catches him with another left hook, not allowing him to escape those zones for free. Now, in the fourth round, at the end of that round, he's going to come in here, boom, and he catches him with this excellent shot. Notice he was throwing it really wide, and Demetrius Andre was blocking it, but this time he kind of throws it short and catches him right on the face with it um, with a huge, huge overhand. Uh, hurts him and drops him. Okay, hurts him and drops him. Um, and again, hurts him and again, boom. You can see his head kind of snapping. The next round was, the fifth round was all the same. It was just David Benavides chasing him around, snapping on him here. He makes kind of an adjustment here. Notice he went down and threw the right hand last time. Here he goes down here. Boom. Comes in with the left hand, smacks him, and hurts him again. Again, the fifth round was just another complete beat down. Getting on his line. Boom, boom. A little bit of fighting back here. And Benavides gets to the front foot, smacks him, smacks him, smacks him. Hits him with that classic Benavides combo right there. Um, and if you don't duck below the waist, you don't hold, you don't cheat, you don't turn your back, you don't completely run away, right? You got to take that ass whooping, right? You know, and Andrade did a good job of, I don't want to say taking that ass whooping. Again, eating shot after shot. Uh, David Benavidez going down, down, up. Now, if you guys are curious to learn about this technique that David Benavides has been using as he goes down, up to spring into these shots, it's a technique I call two-foot punching. Um, I'm the first coach in history to understand the way that the kinetic chain works the correct way so that you can generate power. And I have an entire combat system based around teaching you how to do exactly what it is that David Benavides is doing here, but in the absolute most efficient way to learn it. Not only that, I'm also going to teach you exactly what to do with your hands, okay, so that you can be as fast and as sharp as someone like Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis. Again, I'm the first boxing coach or striking coach in history to be able to figure out what to do with exactly every single piece of your kinetic chain so that I can teach punching power to anybody on the planet. And it's in my Vimeo package in the description below, the Fouts Boxing Combat System, weaponizing the one-inch punch. Yes, the one-inch punch. Bruce Lee's famed one-inch punch. So check it out. Um, you will learn to punch harder. You will learn how hard it is to do. And you will get better at it yourself. Okay? Again, anyone can learn it. Now, again, 
Andrade throwing lots of punches, boom, exploding, um, and kind of making his last stand here, right? He threw a couple more sequences right there at the in the sixth round, um, but really that was the last of it. And this is him at the end of the sixth round, kind of just getting, you know, molly whopped, getting beat up, stuck on the line with the with Benavidez, getting his mouthpiece knocked out. His mouthpiece was knocked out a few times. Um, yeah, you know, just like I was talking about before in the pre-fight, um, this fight was really easy to predict. You know, David Benef- uh, yeah, David Benavidez, solid defense. You know, he can block punches, he can pull punches. Um, he comes forward with a good guard. More importantly, it's very easy for him to control space as he gets to the front foot. He does a very good job of using his lead hand and hiding it and then hiding his rear hand and being able to kind of sneak in to position and land those strikes against someone like, you know, Demetrius Andrade, whose guard is never up. He never has his hands in a position in which he can interact with his opponent. So David Benavides just has to get close enough to punch him. And then he just punches him basically for free, you know, at the highest level. Everyone's fast. David Benavides is as fast as Demetrius Andrade. And it's just too fast for him to get in, back into position to defend himself. And David Benavides landed so many free punches uh, because, again, either Demetrius Andrade is ducking below the waist, he's holding and tying him up, or when David Benavides throws punches, he's countering. And Demetrius Andrade could only do so much countering. He could only do so much punching. I think it was the third round in which he really took to trying to counter uh, David Benavidez and follow him back after he would probe. But he would use so much energy snapping uh, and use so much energy in those moments without getting any value um, that he would just tire. He wasn't scoring. He wasn't... uh, he wasn't scoring. He wasn't punishing David Benavides. He wasn't making Benavides hesitant. He was literally just sprinting. And, uh, you know, after the sixth round, it was just obvious that, you know, maybe he had one more round or two more rounds. Um, and he was done. So uh, great performance from Benavides. Um, he has the potential, you know, this guy has the potential not only to be like a top 10 pound for pound guy, um, but to be, you know, an overall a great fighter, you know, a Crawford level fighter. Um, he's more speed than he is power, but you know, either way. Anyway, um, check out the full film study on my Patreon, Fouts Boxing, uh, patreon.com slash Fouts Boxing. Um, we do full, full fight film studies. Also, if you want personalized coaching, you want someone to look at your videos, your training videos, your technique, um, and tell you where to improve, tell you what to do. Um, so that you always have something to work on. Check out my coaching. It's 50 bucks to sign up, 50 bucks a month. Um, and uh, yeah, check out the Fast Boxing Combat System if you want to learn how punching power works. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we will also on Patreon be watching Superio Matthias um, uh, beat up his opponent and then watch uh, Jamal Charlo in his baby 10-round affair against... Uh, David Benavidez's little brother or big brother, Jose Benavidez. Um, and all those videos are probably, those fights are going to get YouTube videos as well. So if you guys enjoy the content, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Thanks, guys.